everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet a wide bead stitch, which you can see here in front of you. Now this is a fairly unique design. It's similar on the front and on the back and uh, it's quite fun to work once you get it set up. Today for the tutorial I'm going to be using a 5mm crochet hook as well as some cotton yarn by Lion Brand. You can find links to both of these items in the description of this video. Also there in the description you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, let me know down in the comments how you would use this beautiful wide bead stitch. Our stitch today is worked in rows, so we'll start by making our slip knot and then by working a foundation chain and for your foundation chain you're going to need a multiple of five stitches plus two. So today I'm going to chain a total of 22. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a half double crochet into the second chain from your hook and then into each chain all the way across. At the end of your row one, chain three and turn your work. We're now going to work our first row of wide bead stitches. Our chain three will count as a stitch. So into the next uh, three stitches, we're going to work one triple stitch. So yarn over twice, into the next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops three times. So you're going to work one triple in each of the next three stitches. We're now going to work our bead stitch around the post of these three stitches. So to work your bead stitch, you're going to yarn over, bring your hook back in front of your work and insert it between the first triple crochet and the chain three. So into that space, insert your hook, reach through, grab your yarn, yarn over and draw up a loop. You'll want to pull it all the way across so that it's fairly long. You don't want the three triples to bunch too much. You're going to do that for a total of five times. So that was once. Yarn over, insert your hook into that space, yarn over and drop a loop. There's twice, three, four, and Five. Once you have, let me see here, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven stitches or loops on your hook, we're going to anchor our bead stitch by inserting our hook into the next half double crochet, yarning over and drawing up a loop. Finally, you're going to yarn over and draw through all the loops on your hook, being careful not to snag any of them. That completes your bead stitch. Next, into the next half double crochet, insert your hook, yarn over, and draw up a loop. 
we're now going to holding back the loop, the first loop on our hook, we're going to chain three. So there's one, two, and three. You have two loops still on your hook, yarn over, and pull through both loops. We're now going to repeat that all the way across. So beginning with a triple in each of the next three stitches. followed by a bead stitch worked around the posts of those three triples and in between that chain three in the stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook in that space, yarn over, draw up a loop, do that five times. Then anchor your bead stitch by into the next half double crochet, insert your hook, yarn over and draw up a loop. Then yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook. Insert your hook into the next stitch, the next half double crochet, yarn over, draw up a loop, and chain three, keeping that first loop back. After you've chained three, yarn over and pull through both loops. Repeat that all the way across. You're going to finish off this row with the chain three. I am at the end of my row. I'm just anchoring my final bead here. Into this final stitch, I'm going to work my chain three and then finish off. For row three, chain one and turn your work. For row three you're going to half double crochet into the first space. Then half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. So you had the three triple stitches uh, and the final stitch there, the chains um, that you worked your bead stitch around so we're going to just work a half double crochet into the top of each of those there's four all together you're then going to half double crochet into the next space between your chain three and your bead stitch and then repeat half double crochet into each of the next four stitches and half double crochet into the space. Repeat that all the way across. At the end of your row three, you're working your final half double crochet into that chain uh, three space between the chain three and the bead. You can then chain three and turn your work. Now as far as the repeat is concerned, that's all there is for this pattern. So you're going to repeat your rows two and three for as long as you would like. So just to recap the row two, you're going to triple in each of the next three stitches. And work a bead stitch around them.
anchor your bead stitch in the next stitch and then holding back that first loop chain three in the next stitch and complete so that was your row two repeat that across chain one turn your work and work your row of half double crochet stitches and that's all there is to working this wide bead stitch hope you enjoyed the tutorial be sure to give this video a thumbs up and say hello down in the comments until next time happy crocheting bye mm -hmm.